Welcome to the Signature Canine video series where we're taking a look at all the new stuff coming out of the shop and some of your old school favorites that are getting a facelift. Today on round we're going to talk about our, or take a look at our 300 series sleeves. And basically what we've got is a 302, 303, and 304. And this is a, a progression in sleeves. And basically what you have is a sleeve that's, that has a uh, sort of a pronounced bite bar to it in a wedge shape. And you can see that here. And all these are going to have about the same wedge shape to them. The big difference in them is going to be the, in the collapsibility of the barrel. So as you go through it, an 02 has got some collapsibility, an 03 has less collapsibility, and an 04 has less collapsibility than that. The lining on is all going to have our cool max lining. Um, you know, extra padding ac across the front of the forearm. It's got a generous pad across the bicep here. And it's got to have a hole for some ventilation to it. And what you're going to have, and basically as the dog gets stronger and stronger in his grip, you can move him through the sleeve progression. So if you've got a, a dog that's just, you know, just bridged off of a puppy sleeve, you're going to go into something like a 302 that's got some collapsibility so we can get some satisfaction out of being able to collapse the bar of the sleeve. The bar is going to force him to open his mouth so he can actually get a pretty, you know, so he has to open his mouth to get into this sleeve. But once he gets into it, he's got some collapsibility. And then as you go up in progression, this sleeve gives him the exact same look as the other one, but he's got to work harder to compress it, which is going to increase jaw strength and is going to increase pressure on the dog or, or the strength of the dog so that as he's moving through the sleeve progression, he has to be stronger and stronger. The other thing you're going to find in the 03, the 303, and the 304 sleeve is there's actually a, uh, there's a bar built into the inside of this that the harder they collapse on it, the harder the bar itself gets. And the same thing, this one has a stiffer, a stiffer uh, bar section in it than what the 303 has. The 304 has a little stiffer bar section. So again, the more he collapses this, the more he gets into the center, the bar that runs right through here inside this sleeve, and the more he has to, the more he has to crank on it, the harder he pushes down, the harder it kind of forces back. So we can increase his grip strength throughout the progression of the sleeve. This starts off as an intermediate dog, you know, as a, as a strong green dog in the, 30, in the uh, 302, and then the 302 gets a little harder, and the 304 is harder than that. And as you take a dog through this progression, basically what you're doing is you're putting yourself in a position where his grip gets better and better and better as he goes, or harder and harder and harder as he goes, in order to maintain the same amount of, the same amount of, uh, you know, in order for him to get the same amount of satisfaction out of smashing the sleeve, he has to work harder at it as he goes through the progression. And the other thing I'll do, training-wise, again, and I've talked about this in some of the other sleeves, if you've looked at any of those videos, you'll see uh, one of the things I do is if I'm teaching something, I go back a progression in sleeve weight. So, and when I say sleeve weight, I don't mean physical weight of the sleeve, I mean how hard he has to, how much effort he has to push in, he has to put in to collapse the bar. And so if I'm teaching a dog something, so I'm mentally stressing him, I want to give him a little more satisfaction in the grip, I'll actually lighten that up so he doesn't have to work as hard to stay on it. If I'm just working on his grip and I'm just working on uh, the amount of pressure he may take from the person and not necessarily intellectual, intellectual pressure, so he's not thinking learning near as much, I'll work him up through the sleeves. If he's doing a lot of intellectual stuff, I'll actually back him down a sleeve. I won't take him clear back. You know, if he's on a four, I'm not going to take him back to a two, but I'll back him off to a three so that the sleeve itself is a little easier to stay with uh, and he can get a little more satisfaction out of the grip by smashing, you know, by smashing the bar uh, in this direction. But anyway, that's our uh, 300 series sleeves. Again, 302 is lighter, 303 is a little harder than that, and 304 is a little harder than that comes in left and right and takes all of the standard covers. Thanks for taking the time to check it out.